Good morning, Babylon. It's another edition of Daily Edification, Daily Exhortation, brought to you by the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim of Abadash. All praise and glories definitely do, especially in these times. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who taught me this truth, and Lord willing, I'm of the elect, because I know they are. Now let's talk about America, Babylon the Great. Sure, we know America's on the downfall. We know that there's businesses that are deeply in debt. The middle class has been obliterated. Okay, we know that people in restaurant businesses, they're having to do different things to stay in business. Like I was watching one thing, these Asians, they had stopped making Asian food and they went and they started doing pizzas just to stay in debt. And they're, they said they were doing an interview and their debt was catastrophic. Their debt was enormous. So, and he was uneasy and he looked really uneasy about being in that business himself because basically what's going on in America, everything, he's worried about somebody coming in there and just flat blasting him because of all the Asian hatred. The Asians are the new nigga in America. You had Trump doing all this. This is uh, the Chinese virus, the Wuhan virus, you know, he just made it real bad for him. They just started kicking the Asians ass. I mean, now, now the agency, yeah, what we had to go through in the 50s and 60s, just walking down the street, being black, getting hung from trees, getting shot at, mugged, robbed, raped, murdered, and people getting away with it. Getting away with it. Uh, Asian hate crimes is up uh, something, there was like 3,000 Asian hate crimes already this year. So, uh, yeah, the Asians, they're getting it. They're getting it. And they were doing, they were putting their businesses in black communities. You know, uh, now there ain't nowhere safe for them. The, the white folks are coming after them. They, they treated the blacks horrible in their communities. So the blacks are just waiting for them to start taking their slide down the hill. I mean, America is not going to recover from this. It's not going to recover. How do you see a recovery happening? I don't. The curses are to keep compiling and keep compiling and keep compiling. The only thing left is for the dollar to fall out. When that happens, going outside your door will be at your own peril. Going outside your door will be at your own peril. Everybody's stocking up on weapons, guns, food, powdered food, solar panels. Everybody's trying to free themselves from the system. And those who can't free themselves from the system are looking to steal and rob and get a good foothold to where they can sustain themselves when the system collapses. So they're thinking about getting guns, weapons, thinking about friends they know, who's got this, who's got that. It's going to be brother against brother. It's coming. It's happening. The Heavenly Father is not going to let up. These are the people that profited from our slavery, our downfall. This is a time for us to rejoice because reaping what you sow. You reap what you sow. You made a profit off us. Well, what happens when all your profit is gone? All your profit from all your wickedness. Then what are you going to rely on? What are you going to do? Who's going to save you? Not the Heavenly Father. He's doing it to you. So anyway, so if you're out there, you're not with the Heavenly Father, you're an enemy with the Heavenly Father, you're done.